Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Zaki Mas'ud and I'll be your instructor for this topic 2, part 2, which is going to describe on, uh, which is going to discuss on the uh, introduction to cryptography. So what is a cryptography? Okay, cryptography is the idea of a cipher system that is to discuss information in such a way that its meaning is unintelligible to an authorized person. The two most common uses are probably to store data securely in a computer file or to transmit it across in secure channels such as the internet. Encrypted document does not prevent unauthorized people gaining access to it, but rather to ensure that they cannot understand what they see. And in secret writing, it's, or cryptography is divided by two categories, that is stenography, which is hiding information, and cryptography, which is scrambling data. Stenography will hiding message, message will not be changed, but uh, it will only hide the information. While for cryptography, it will change the message and you will only know the real message if you know how uh, you actually uh, encrypt it. Cryptography is divided into transposition and substitution and the substitution are using code or replacing by word or cipher by replacing later. A common method includes shaving your head bowl with slide something on it and wait for the hair to grow back. An example of modern technology is a watermarking. It means that you are hiding the information uh, inside the picture so that people will not um, can uh, or cannot gain uh, the information in it. Okay, this is a, another example of cryptography machine, which is called as an Enigma machine, which is used by the German in the World War II to actually or sending a secret message to their members. Okay, before I go on further, let me explain to you on the cryptography terminology. What we mean by a plain text is actually an original message. A cipher text is a coded message. Cipher is an algorithm for transforming plain text to a cipher text. Key is the use uh, info that is being used in a cipher known only to the sender and the receiver. And then you have encipher or encrypt, which is the process of converting the plain text to a cipher text. And then you have deciphering or decrypting, which is recovering the cipher text form into a plain text. Cryptography is a study of encryption principle or methods. Cryptoanalysis is a code breaking personnel who study of the principles method of deciphering cipher text without knowing the key. And the cryptology is the field of both cryptography and cryptoanalysis. Okay, now let's move on to the cryptography algorithm, which can be classified along three independent dimensions. The first one is the type of operation used for transforming plain text to a cipher text. Second is the number of key used, either you are using symmetrics or asymmetrics. Symmetrics means you are only using a single key to encrypt and also to decrypt the information. And asymmetrics, you are using two key to encrypt and to decrypt the information. Okay, the last one is the way in which the plain text is processed. Okay, this illustration describes to you on the symmetric cryptography principle, which you have a plain text which is encrypted using a secret key shared both by the sender and also the receiver. Okay, first, the plain text is being encrypted using a key and then it's going to be sent to a receiver and at the receiver side, the receiver will actually decrypt it using the same key to actually decrypt the cipher text into a plain text. This illustration is an example of an asymmetric cryptography. If you can see, there will be two types of key there, which is the public and also the private key. The private key is held by the person uh, who are actually going to decode or decrypt the message and the party who encrypted it going to use a public key uh, to encrypt it and only the private key can only decrypt it. In an asymmetric encryption, uh, they have to be supported by a public key cryptography and this public key cryptography has six ingredients in it, which is the first one is the plain text, the encryption algorithm, the public key and the private key, the cipher text, 
and the decryption algorithm. Okay, the difference between symmetrics and versus asymmetrics is that if the system is symmetric, then there may be a need to distribute a secret key value before a secret message can be exchanged. This is the most difficult aspect of obtaining a secure system because the key might be stolen in the middle of the process of sending the key to the receiver. Whereas, if the system is asymmetric, then it may be possible to avoid this particular problem by distributing only the public encryption key and, um, but not the private key that is being used to decrypt the information. Well guys, that is the last slide of this uh, part 2. Hope this, uh, this sharing session has given you some new knowledge. See you next time. Assalamualaikum and a very good day.